What's up guys, my name is Dichronic Joseph on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be talking about the 600 power setup that one of my clanmates at Nobla got only a few days ago. Now he's not the first person to get the 600 power, but 600 power this quickly is quite impressive and quite crazy and I gotta say when he got the 600 power all I did was how the hell did you do that? I've got to know. And after talking to him, I've come out knowing two really big tips that I know can help you guys level up a lot more efficiently and a lot better, and I have good reasoning to why they work. And of course, links to Anoam blog in the description down below. He Twitch streams himself doing the raid all the time, and a lot of times he does do community carries. Uh, a lot of times he does a lot of French community carries because he is a French speaker, but go check him out. Twitch link in the description down below. So right now, I'm sitting at a character around 570 power. Earlier this week, I was around 560 power. And I gotta say, the fact that he got 600 when I was 560 was very unnerving. But after he told me the two main reasons why he was so much higher than me, I kind of understood and I want to employ them in the future. The first tip is gonna be the raids. Now, I didn't do a lot of raids because I wasn't high enough power and I didn't have a full team of people. So I kind of said, let's just not do the raids. I'll do the other milestones and I'll, I'll get up to the raids. That is a mistake because the first few sections of the raid are a lot easier than the last few sections. The raid ramps up in difficulty. If you're 540, 550, you can accomplish the first one. Even if you're 550, you can accomplish the second one. Both of these have chances of giving you extremely powerful gear that is way stronger than other powerful gear. Something you have to understand that I didn't realize until recently is that not all powerful gear is created equally. Some of them are weaker, some are medium, and some are strong powerful gear. The raid drops strong powerful gear. On average, I think it's 15 to 20 levels higher than all of my other weapons and armor and my average. The raid drops a huge bump. To your level by the end of the raid this week i went from 560 to 569 and i got one duplicate slot which means if i didn't i would have been well over 10 levels higher from a single raid so if you're wondering why some of your friends have such a higher level than you are it's probably because they're doing the raid or at very least they're doing the first few parts of the raid and trust me, it's really not that hard to do the first encounter. You do not need to be a 560, 570 level light. And the second most important tip that he gave me is going to be clearing your jagged edges and equalizing your gear before getting super powerful gear. By jagged edges, I mean your armor or weapons. If there's like one or two weapons that are way higher than the rest of them, or for example, the vice versa, where you have a lot of higher ones and only one or two that are very low, those are kind of like jagged edges if you were to consider your weapons and armor kind of like a slope along a mountain. What you want to do is equalize that mountain and those slopes across all the stacks before you go for the most powerful gear. Now, I'm going to give you an example of how this works. Whenever I transfer between characters, I finish one character off in its entirety and then I transfer my weapons over to the second character to give him an immediate advantage and that second character will usually end up being higher than the first character after I do all my milestones. Now in this particular time, I did the raid immediately after transferring transferring those weapons over from the first character, I did the uh, first four encounters in the raid and I got no benefit because every drop I got in the raid was a weapon. Now this is unlikely considering that it was only three out of the eight possible slots it could have landed in, but because of the fact that I was so jagged, those really big powerful gears landing in my weapon slot literally gave me no advantage and that was the raid for that character that week i could not get those drops back so it's very important that you equalize all of your gear before doing the most powerful the strongest powerful rewards so you can get the most benefit from the strongest activities so in a practical sense basically if you have any jagged edges do the weak powerful rewards and then once you do all the weak powerful rewards you can do some of the normal powerful rewards like the medium ones like the dreaming city and the nightfall and the high score do those you will get another set of jagged edges kind of smooth those off with a couple more weak ones and then do the raid after doing that, send your weapons over to the second character, immediately start off with a bunch of weak, powerful rewards to equalize your gear a little bit, go to the Dreaming City, get some of those jagged edges, smooth off those jagged edges with some more weak, powerful gear, and then do the raid again. And just keep doing that over and over again, going back and forth, zigzagging across your characters every single week, and you should have the most powerful advantage to powerful rewards that you can get. So again, the biggest tips that I got away from the conversation with the 600 Power Man is going to be firstly doing the raid. That's the strongest gear you 
can get it is super duper powerful and it is possible at a very early level you may be mistaken and the second one is to equalize your gear between the jagged and most powerful wards that you can get so that those powerful rewards will give you a boon more often than not and that's it that's basically what i wanted to see you guys today i hope you guys did enjoy there are gonna be fluffers on screen for making it to the end of the video hashtag made it to the fluffers i do apologize for not having a video yesterday the zur video was supposed to go up yesterday i uh i recorded it i edited it i rendered it and i forgot about it i've never done that specific thing before in my life and i can't believe that i did do it i realized at the end of the night i was like where's my video i don't it, it's not showing up in my manager and then it just it wasn't it wasn't there because i i didn't upload it so I'm, i apologize about that hopefully you found other ways to find the zur if you still haven't try looking it up on the internet uh, there's actually a, a lot of sources out there other than me i don't tell anybody this because you know they might stop watching my videos but anyways that's the video hope you guys did enjoy my name is Vinay chronic and i'll see you guys on the next one